what is going on everybody Taylor here and right now I kind of just wanted to sit down and I don't even know if I can call this a review but I want to talk about Stranger Things because over the weekend I binged watched both seasons of Stranger Things for the very first time I know I've been missing out I'm super behind I'm playing a huge game of catch-up with a lot of things right now but the important thing is sat down and watched both seasons and I'm completely and utterly in love with everything about this show. The quality of this show, how well crafted it is in every single aspect is mind-blowing. The story itself is so well written, it's so well directed and executed. The locations are perfect, it feels like you got dropped into a time capsule of specifically the 80s and it just you're just there it exists the, in Hawkins Indiana it's still the 80s and they just haven't left <laughs> that's what it feels like and the cast is incredible the kids are just so so talented and the effects like the post-production is insane there's just so much about this show to appreciate, especially if you're someone who appreciates film and television and that whole process and that world. And this show had me, I literally sat there and binge watched both seasons in two days just because I didn't want to do anything else. I just wanted to watch it and watch it and watch it and see what happened. And I just, right from the get-go, they just hook you right in. They started off with just a bang of what the hell is going on. And I love that. They don't try to take time to ease you into this story. They drop you right in. Chapter one is called The Vanishing of Will Byers, and it just starts. And I love it. I really do. I think that it's such an interesting world that they've created with not only incorporating that period of time where everyone has rotary home phones and you know the fashion is the way that it is and the houses the interior of the houses you can tell just have that look and it just has that small town feel and it's it feels so lived in in the best way and you just believe it which is fantastic and I don't know it it's hard for me to put into words how great this show really is it's the characters are so well defined in this show it's so captivating how well defined the characters are you get to learn about all of the kids you get to learn about the, you know, adult characters and, you know, you really feel like they're, they're developed, they're characters that you should care about, they're characters that you feel like you know. Um, even character, even, even a character like Eleven where she doesn't really know who she is and she doesn't know a lot about herself and she is obviously having a very hard time with a lot of things but you get to watch that struggle and you really get to be a part of it and it just there are just so many moments that play out so well you really get to play out the moments of heartbreak and the moments of despair and the moments of fear and it just the pacing is great and the tone is great and I don't know I just there are moments that really stick out in my mind as I think back um I mean you know the moment that we lose Bob poor Bob Bob was the real MVP and we lost Bob uh, I mean it was hard it was hard to lose Barb as well but that one was a lot more I was prepared for it because of the friggin internet chaos that happened like when that when the show was actually first going on and I couldn't you know it was all over the internet so of course the justice 
So of course, this was, you know, back when this was actually airing and it was all over the internet. There was justice for Barb stuff everywhere. So I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> um, but, you know, the moment when they really do figure out that she's gone, that she's dead, that she's one that they can't find and bring back. Um, you know, the moment when we see that the moment that we really see when, you know, Will is back, but he's not back. And we see those moments where you can just, especially when they're in the hospital room towards the end of the second season, where it's just not him. And just the, the arcs that we get to see for these characters, for Will, obviously, when he's dealing with, you know, having been to the Upside Down and still very much living it with it being inside of him and a part of him. And we get to see Steve Harrington. We get to see a character arc for Steve where Steve is the best by the end of the second season. At first, Steve is kind of the worst. He has great hair, but he's kind of the worst. And then by the end, Steve is right in there with them. He's he's teaching the kids how to do their hair. And he's you know, has a baseball bat, and he's going to war with them. And he's doing what he has to do to protect them. And just things like that where we get to see these characters come into this world and face the reality that this is real and this is happening and we get to watch them process and make decisions and figure out where they're going to fall in all this and what they're going to do and it's it's really just I mean it's I, I don't it's a, just such great storytelling it is and you know seeing Winona Ryder kick ass is awesome seeing David Harbour be friggin' badass. Oh my god. Like, he was, Chief Hopper was cool at the beginning, but by the end of the second season, holy shit, David Harbour is the coolest. Him and Eleven as a team is out of this world. Best team ever. The fact that he takes her in and takes care of her and deals with, you know, the fact that she's still trying to figure out everything basically she's still trying to figure out how the world works and how to fit in with society and what's acceptable and what's not and and trying to deal with the fact that you know she has those abilities and what to do with them and what not to do with them and and he you know gets frustrated at times and but by the end you know he just cares that she's safe and then Oh, man. That ending of season two, dude. Like, that dance. <sighs> was everything. It was everything. The fact that Eleven gets to go to the dance and she looks so pretty and so cute. Oh, my God, you guys. <sighs> this show makes me feel so many things. And all I want to do is just sit down and re-binge the whole thing over again. That's really all I want to do. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy how much I love this show. And I'm kind of really glad that I got to watch it now. It would have been cool to watch it, you know, as the new thing with everyone as they were watching it. But I'm kind of glad I have a little bit of distance from it and can watch it in my own little bubble, <laughs> so to speak. But yeah, I don't even really know if this was a review. I don't even know if I said anything that has any sort of, like, importance at all. I've, but there you go. There you have it. I just kind of wanted to <sighs> proclaim my love for it now that I've officially seen it. So, thank you guys for hanging out with me while I just kind of did whatever that was. But, 
If you guys want to find me on social media, my links are in the description. As always, my link to my Stardust is also down there if you want to check out my little mini reviews and reactions before stuff gets posted here. As always, you guys are the friggin' best. Thank you so much for all of your support, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>